My name is Gary Presnell. I'm a member of the model, Elkhart Model Railroad Club and I'm here tonight to uh, show you what I do with some of my freight cars in order to improve them. Um, I'll start out with this New Haven car. I don't know if you can tell that I did the bottom edge of the walkway. It's kind of to create a shadow. I painted the sill underneath. It kind of hides the door guides and gives it a little bit of difference. There you can see where I did not do the bottom edge as compared to having the edge. And then my stirrups, I painted them black in this case because it tends to tone down the big looking stirrups that you'd have on a car. And then I was going to show what I could, what you can do with your wooden walkways to make it look more like wood. And I'm going to demonstrate that on this car here. Got a little bit of gray and some black. very little paint actually I'm gonna dry brush it some usually woods when they uh, lose their paint or whatever the, whatever they use for conserving the wood they'll tend to turn gray quite often with a little bit of brown here and there. I'm going to use my lid here to keep very little paint in the brush. Well, that gives you kind of the idea and you can go over with browns too to get the look that you're going to want that was with a little more time doing it but that's basically what I get and then when it comes to doing the edge of your walkway I can do it on this one And I use flat black in a lot of places. I don't brush across this way. I go lengthwise so I'm not wiping paint off. In fact, I'll turn it upside down so if I do do any wiping across this way, it will be on the bottom side. This is acrylic paint, by the way. And it's not, it's pretty forgiving. I do have some sparkle here. It amounts to being glass cleaner. And you can clean it up with that. It kind of makes the bottom of the car, the bottom of the walkway disappear. It gives it a more thin look. And then also I do the stirrups that way. Only this, this is a little bit different process. You can get it on your fingers or not. But I paint the back side of the stirrups. This will especially work on this car. I'm doing my edges here. I'm getting in a hurry, but you know what? It doesn't matter on this. I'll show you why. It is acrylic. And it wipes off pretty darn quick if you get it where you don't want it. I do, did bring some sponges, but this is the way I usually do it at home. I just actually got a little flash on that stirrup there that I could take the time and cut out. But just this process here makes a lot of the stirrup disappear. When you have a cheap car, you can get a better look to it. 
And then another thing I do when it comes to hiding things, most wheels, whether they're scale wheels or whatever, they are real shiny on the inside. And I'll take and paint the inside of that wheel. Get rid of that shine in there. And you got to be careful you don't put a lot in there, but for the most part, you would think you'd get it on your axle ends and make it roll poorly. But I've done this many, many times, and generally, you don't have any trouble with that. And even your side frames on your trucks, they tend to be really glossy. And I'll use flat black on that. Go all the way around on that just to do it but I'm not I'm not taking my time or anything I, I'm just wiping across it maybe a little bit more but the whole idea is you get rid of that sheen on the wheels there's still a little bit of sheen there right now but it, mainly because it isn't dry yet then on your couplers of course you're Glad hands are what some people call them. You can go down and get a lot of the, but not the very end of what amounts to being a hose, almost to the end. That way it looks like there's a little clasp on the end for joining the next hose on the next car. So that's dressing it up a little bit that way. I do have a, a car that we have on the layout that uh, I've never liked. <laughs> There's a lot of things that can be fixed on this. You got the shiny wheels, the frame and such. I'm going to do a little work on this and see if I can make it look better. First of all, I'm going to do them wheels. Get rid of that shiny wheels in there. You can even try to do the rims. The rims take a little more time, but... When you're spinning it with your finger, it doesn't take that much. While I was sitting here looking at it, I noticed that, uh, well, there's a lot of things I don't like here, but even the handrails on top, where they join the body of the tank, those are painted orange, and I can go through, and I'm going to, I wish I had the body color, but I don't have that paint with me right now, but I'm going to, touch up the ends and see what it looks like here to reduce what there is for orange there see what it looks like this is another one of them cases where it's some of the trial and error but it's no big deal with it being acrylic to clean up. I'm doing the sides of my ladder here. I'm going to do the rungs and we'll see how that does. I will say you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself because it might not wipe off real well. So I'll do a little bit of time here. There, that's cleaning off some. It kind of tones down the ladder versus that on this side. I'll do the same thing with the stirrups on the bottom here. There's yeah, I got a mess on there, but I'll just wipe it off with my fingers. That tone that down. I think it's looking a little better there. Then I'm going to do a little bit of airbrushing on here. There again with my flat black. I just love my flat black for a lot of stuff. I used to use dull coat on a lot of stuff. I still do some, but it's amazing what you can do with flat black. I thinned my flat black paint uh, earlier. I thinned it to where it's a very watery consistency. I can brush it onto something and there's very little pigment. It's mainly like glass cleaner. 
that's what I use for the acrylic paint. So this is very thin. It's barely any black here. Oops. I got a little too much on it, but being acrylic, you can kind of wash it off, especially when I have very little paint in it. Toning it down. I'm staying quite back with it, so I'm not painting it per se. I'm just toning it down. tones it down makes it look hmm. more presentable I believe. That's things you can do with cars you're not happy with their looks. Made the ladder look thinner, the stirrups look thinner. Just generally I think it improves the car. That's what I was going to do with this car too. I think I will a little bit. Another thing you can do for your car is it just like on the end here I did it black a little heavier because the wheels sling dirt up on the end of your cars. That's something you can do with your cars too. But it it's not a big difference in this particular case on this car. I, I believe this one here it really toned it down a lot. When you have a, a car that just appears too bright for you then you can use a flat black or something like that. This is the one I put a little more, more time on, but I used to simulate rust that's been around a while. I used black, and then I washed that with a very, very thin brown or uh, rust colors. And that's thin to a very watery consistency where there's very little pigment in it. And in this case, I rusted the side frames of the car a little bit. Well, that's all I've got. Um, hopefully this is a good, helpful hint for everyone. Uh, again, my name is Gary Presnell, and I'm at the Elkhart Motor Railroad Club.